Good evening, everybody. Uh, today I'm presenting you the strongest amplifier I've ever built. It's an amplifier using a Russian military tube, the Golf uh, Uniform 81 mic, which, as far as I know, is the strongest glass tube ever built. Uh, uh, for the Russian Red Army. Uh, that's the amplifier, the case uh, it's on aluminium and uh, it's, uh, it's been built uh, custom made for this amplifier. That's the external view of the amplifier. Let's switch on the filament and we will switch on the anodic voltage a little bit later. For now let's look a little bit inside see what uh, uh, how it's been built. So we will get closer to the amplifier and I will start uh, the inside look with the P filter region. Uh, as you can see there is no rotary switch for the P filters um, it's uh, it's using six vacuum relays, six vacuum relays from the Red Army, from the Russian Red Army, because rotary switches at uh, these times are quite expensive and quite uh, hard to find. Uh, and I had the occasion uh, to buy some surplus uh, uh, components from the eBay with those. Uh, with those vacuum relays um, doing a very fine job for the uh, for the P filter of this amplifier. Uh, as you can see uh, there are as usual three coils. Let's see if it's better without the tube. No, it's not. Uh, there are three coils perpendicular one on the other. The first coil is uh, built on copper pipe uh, from the already classical Dacia um, car brake system. The anodic choke uh, wound on the ceramic support. Here on this part of the amplifier we can see the load capacitor the load capacitor which is uh, recovered from an old uh, from an old vacuum tube uh, receiver and in the lower part as you can see are the input filters the p input filters for this amplifier each of them built on toroids t80.2 uh, uh, for the first time uh, since I'm building linear amplifier, uh, the second grid regulator is made uh, using transistors. Usually I was using um, uh, tubes, the Golf Uniform 50. Well, this time uh, I thought it's a pity uh, that uh, the tube is able to operate, the Golf Uniform 81 is able to operate within uh, two seconds from the filament voltage starts and uh, it would be pity to wait uh, two or three minutes for the second grid regulator to operate. So this time uh, I'm using those two MOSFETs uh, to regulate the second grid voltage. Uh, here are the anodic uh, voltage transformers, there are two of them, each of one uh, delivering uh, 1500 watts. Uh, they are connected in series here, as you can see, a uh, series connection of those two uh, uh, power supplies for the anodic voltage. And uh, from the mean point of them, at uh, uh, 1500 volts, uh, it starts uh, the wire uh, for, the, for the second grid regulator, as you can see. Um, the second grid is regulated at 900 volts, at 900 volts. In this uh, 
in the in the left uh, lateral view you can see uh, the first uh, grid and filament uh, transformer and also the large uh, band the wide band transformer 4 to 1 at the input of the amplifier so that the uh, oh it was a little bit shaky <laughs> um, so that the 2 kilo ohm um, input impedance is decreased uh, to about 500 uh, ohms uh, which is uh, easier to tune by the input uh, filters of course the plate uh, the plate capacitor is a Russian uh, vacuum capacitor with a very low uh, uh, very low uh, uh, residual um, capacity only five picofarads is the is the is the residual capacity which is very important which is very important with this tube uh, the parasitic suppressor and uh, uh, the the measurement instruments on the front panel well I guess this is it uh, with the inside view the antenna relay which is 10 amps uh, uh, capable and yes the relays are connected uh, by the same switch uh, um, who commands the as you can see here it is moving the relays Uh, the same switch who commands the input P filters. So let's uh, make the test for this amplifier. So we're starting the test for the for this amplifier. We'll start at uh, 3.7 megahertz on FM mode. The amplifier we're gonna switch it also on 3.5 megahertz uh, the plate capacitor and the load capacitor I know approximately the position for the beginning we'll stay on standby to see the driving power to see the driving power which is right now at this moment 35 watts okay 35 watts let's turn on the amplifier and the anodic voltage passing on 2 kilowatt scale and let's try to make a tune here it is here it is 1.5 kW 1.5 kilowatts from this linear on 3.5 megahertz okay so 3.5 megahertz 1.5 kW FM and not PEP FM okay the PEP should be higher than that so now are we gonna switch on the uh, 28 megahertz band I'm I'm not uh, making all those bands I'm passing on the extremities and there are a lot of guys saying that it doesn't work simply doesn't work at all on 10 meters band well let's see if it's true uh, it's true that this uh, this tube the Golf Uniform 81 mic uh, has very Oh, very has quite high uh, internal capacities but still manageable still manageable uh, if uh, everything is worked right with short connection and stuff um, it still can be managed okay 
and I will try to prove this. So here we're going on 10 meters band, also frequency modulation and we're not touching the driving power. Let's see how and what we can have. Here it is. Uh, we have to tune it a little bit. Okay. There it was. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Still tuning it. One hundred and one thousand four hundred watts, okay? One thousand four hundred watts. So this is the Golf Uniform 81, I would say at its best, because that's the maximum I was able to obtain, and I think it's quite, uh, quite next to its limit. But it's a very good power for only one tube, uh, and uh, with uh, such a low driving power. Uh, if... Uh, If there are still guys saying that this power is not real, I'm, uh, I'm suggesting you a test. Let's make a test now. Uh, I'm passing back on uh, 3.5 megahertz uh, right here. 4.5. Fifteen should be here. It is. Let's see what we have. Okay, if. Uh, if this power is not true, just tell me how on two seconds, not true, but let's let's let it cool, cool uh, this uh, this uh, dummy load which should uh, support one kilowatt. Huh? This is a tagi. It should be one kilowatt. Okay. Let's count the seconds until this dummy load of 1kW becomes, uh, becomes red hot. Let's start. I'm pushing the PTT. Here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds and I have to release it because I'm destroying my dummy load. If this is not true 1.5 kW then tell me how the hell it becomes that red in 10 seconds thank you very much